What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Happy Chick on iOS 12. If you guys don't know what Happy Chick is, basically it's a multi-system emulator. Uh, it allows you to play a bunch of really cool old school retro games from Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, and a bunch of other stuff. It's really quite cool. Like I said, uh, it's a multi-system emulator all within one application and it works really nicely. Another cool thing about Happy Chick is you can actually run Bluetooth controllers with it. I will be doing an updated video on how you can do that. Uh, so once I do publish that video on how to use a controller with it, I'll put the link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, but anyways, so the way we're going to download Happy Chick is through the Tweakbox app. If you guys don't have that, I'll leave the link for it in the description as well. Uh, so like I said, we'll go into Tweakbox here and we'll let it load up. And uh, we will have to close out of the advertisement here in just a second. Alrighty, so what you're going to want to do is go into the apps section. Uh, go ahead and go into the tweaked apps section. And then we will scroll down until we find Happy Chick. It's a, just a little bit down here. And there's Happy Chick. So go ahead and select on it. And then go ahead and click on the install button. And you will get another pop-up to click on install one more time. And now we can go ahead and exit out of the Tweakbox app. And as you guys can see, the uh, Happy Chick application is currently downloading. Uh, I have noticed that it does take a little time. It takes usually 30 seconds to about a minute or so. So I'll be back as soon as it's done uh, installing onto my device. Alrighty, Happy Chick has installed. The next thing you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and go into the settings application. We'll go ahead and back out here so you guys can see. Uh, how to trust this application. So uh, from settings, go ahead and go down to general, swipe all the way down and see you see profiles and device management. And then you will have to trust the application. I've already trusted it. Uh, it's totally safe to trust. So we'll go ahead and exit out of settings. And now you should be able to open the application. So we'll go ahead and launch it. Uh, now, one thing I have noticed with Happy Chick is there are quite a few advertisements. Um, it can get a little annoying, but it is a free app. Uh, and, and the developers do got to make money somehow. So the way they do that is with advertisements, obviously. So uh, we'll go ahead and close out of the ad here. If we can do it without accidentally clicking on it, go ahead and close it. First thing you'll have is a disclaimer. If you guys want to read through that, feel free. I'll just click on agree. And then we will get one more advertisement here. And close that out and we'll click on don't allow. Uh, so here is Happy Chick. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'll give you guys a brief little kind of tutorial on how to download a game and how to play it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go into the categories section here. And then as you can see, uh, it's basically different consoles that you can choose from, um, like the Nintendo DS, the Game Boy Advanced. Um, you also have, you know, arcade, uh, Super Nintendo, a bunch of stuff, uh, Game Boy Color. So I'll just go into Game Boy Advanced. And then we'll just do, for example, uh, Pokemon Fire Red. So we'll click on Get. We'll go ahead and skip that. And then we'll get a pop-up here to download the ROM. Just go ahead and click on Download. And now the game is currently downloading. Uh, so we'll go ahead and back out here. And then you do have uh, My Games section. We'll just go ahead and click on Not Now for that. Um, so as you can see, it does say play. Keep in mind, if you're using uh, newer consoles that are you know, larger games in size, it can take a while to download them, so just be patient with them. Uh, but with this, we can just click on play, and I'll click on single here. We'll get another advertisement. And then as you can see, here is Pokemon Fire Red. So we can actually go ahead and click on the little menu button here at the bottom, and we can switch the orientation, which works a little bit better for uh, Game Boy Advance games. So as you guys can see, we can just go ahead and click through it. And it does work really nicely. Like I said, you can do more systems than just Game Boy Advance, but I think that this application is really cool uh, just because, like I said, you can play multiple different systems. Um, and another really cool feature of Happy Chick is the ability to use a controller with it, which really uh, makes it a lot more fun, in my opinion, than using on-screen controls, especially for games uh, that are newer and have more button layouts. It's really fun to use a controller uh, to you know play the games again like I said when I uh, do the video of how to use a controller with it I'll leave the video link in the description so be sure to just check there if you guys want to see how to do it 
So we'll go ahead and close out of the game and we'll exit out of Happy Check. That's pretty much all you got to do. It's pretty straightforward. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.